We've got a boys under 16 match just about set here. Guam United, they're in white and in red going up against the Arsenal White Squad out of Altaloma, California here, a Southern California team. And we're just seconds away and there is the whistle and the start of this match. We have two 30 minute halves here, no overtime. These are just bracket play games. Each team gets three of those. And depending on where their standings were, see if they go on to the elimination rounds. So immediately the ball out on the far side. Actually it was a uh, penalty there. I think we had a little elbow. And so the free kick for Guam United. We'll get you the rosters for each of these squads here in just a minute. Ball right now in the middle third of the field just past Midfield, Guam moving from left to right. And the ball out far side. Number six, Micah Paulino will put the ball into play for the white team, far side. And nice job by Arsenal now as they take it and move downfield now. Shot into the middle towards the net, off the keeper's hands. Number 18, Roberto Leon Guerrero. And he does make the play right there. Nice little flick right there to number seven of the Arsenal. Miles Bias and that shot to the goal. Diving to his left is the keeper to make the play. And so two saves here in a matter of about 45 seconds for the United keeper. And if Arsenal continues to put this kind of pressure on that backfield of Guam, it's gonna be a long day for number 18, Robert Guerrero. Again, Arsenal, do they lead it just a little bit too long? Eight gets past the keeper, he's got an open net. Nice job. Number three, Darren Apiag for Guam. Saving a goal right there. And let's see, corner kick here, number 10 for Arsenal. Freddy Alcaraz. So a big opportunity here for the Arsenal squad. Here comes the corner in the middle of the header. Just a little bit long, cleared away over to the far side. Number 18 trying to get there in time. Daniel Rosales. Rosales pushed into the corner. The ball goes out back line and it's a corner kick for Arsenal this time from the far corner. Corner on the ground, cleared back over to the far sideline. There's a header into the back of the net. Great shot, number four, Corey Hostetter for Arsenal. Takes that cross from the far side of the field, dives with the header, and he gets it right past Roberto Leon Guerrero. There we'll get rid of the O, Robert Leon Guerrero, and so, Arsenal with a 1-0 lead here in the first half. Guam here, this squad making their first appearance at Surf Cup. And usually these first games, you know, first half of the first game, you're getting settled in. And again, Arsenal to the net. And that's gonna be long in. That's gonna go out across the back line. Should be a goal kick here for United, and it is. Ball into the middle. Not too many white jerseys there up front for United. And Arsenal doesn't let them penetrate out of that middle third of the field. Nice stop there, number 15, Michael Mercado. Now ball down the left half of the field, number seven, Miles Bias, and he's gonna be deflected there by the keeper. The ball still in play towards the corner. And number three for Guam United, Darren Afiag was there. 
It's going to go off his leg. And the throw in far side for Arsenal. Miles Bias there, number seven. That shot towards the net. That's going to be long. And Leon Guerrero with the goal kick. So for Guam United, number one on their squad is Mark Cruz. Number two is Danilo Rapadas. Number three is Darren Apiag. Number four is Dylan Guma Falfao. Number five is Micah Paulino. And again, Arsenal coming in deep. There's a cross. Oh, it's going to be just past number seven miles, about a half a step behind that play right there, and it'll go out. And so a break for Guam United. So Michael Paulino, as you said there, number five. Marcus Lopez, number seven. Alan Ngoka, number eight. Jude Bischoff, number nine. Jacques Diambra Odi, number 10. Oral Ree is number 11. Vinancio Sioko, number 12. Number 13 is Anthony. Mani Busan, number 14, Trevor Santos, number 15, Thomas Medler, number 17, Jesse Mesa, number 18, the keeper, Robert Leon Guerrero, number 19 is Rico Romero, and number 20 is Eduardo Calvo. So the penalty here near side, and it is against Arsenal. So Guam will bring it up here, set up the kick. Go here to the near side. They right, try to pass out with a field of number nine, Jude Bischoff, but taken away by Arsenal. Miles in the middle with the touch. Leads it too long, it goes out. And back to Guam United. For the Arsenal squad out of Altaloma, number 10 is Freddie Alcaraz. Number 14 is Hugo Alquisira. Number 19, Christian Alvarez. Number five is Connor Alvarez. Number 16, William Alviso. Number seven is Miles Bias. The keeper is Samuel Chappelle. Number 12 is Luis Cienfuegos. Number four is Corey Hostetter. Number two is Jordan Clues. Number 15 is Michael Mercado. Number eight is Ulysses Mosqueda. Number 13 is Lee Nishanian. Number six is Luis Nolasco. Number nine is Oscar Placencia. And number 18 is Daniel Rosales. So there's the rosters for each of these squads. Number 10 coming in hard there. That's Jacques Diambra Odi. Ball deflected out far side. And will belong to Arsenal. Darren Apiag, number three, guilty there with a little push to the back. Cross here to the near side, number 14. Hugo Alquisira. And the ball out just beneath us here, near side. So as soon as the ball put into play, goes right out off of Guam United. So Arsenal with the one nil lead here in the first half. So again, we had an 8.20 in the morning start here. And again, it's Arsenal bringing the ball into the backfield, and that's going to be offsides. And the ball will go to Guam United. 
We're here at the Polo Grounds of Del Mar, just about 25 minutes or so from downtown San Diego, just north of downtown San Diego, and we are about three miles east of the coast. The sun should be coming out here momentarily. It's going to be a little, a little warm out here today. United. Had it in the middle of the field. Coming back to the ball now, number 14, Trevor Santos. Santos. Over to Jacques D'Ambra Odi. Odi near the corner wants to place the ball in the middle of the field. Too many red jerseys there. And they're going to clear it up towards midfield, number eight, Ulysses Mosqueda. That's against Guam United. Nice job there, Danilo Rapales, number two. Nice job there by the Guam United defense as they don't allow a shot on goal. The action here in this match settling down a bit. Arsenal still just about a half step quicker right now, keeping the ball in the backfield of Guam United. That's where most of the action has been here, the left half of the field. But United doing a better job of not just following the ball the first three, four minutes of this match. They were very I guess you would say timid. I think they were just getting a feel for this match here. And they've calmed down. Defense playing a lot better. And that shot on goal is well out. So they've retrieved the ball and they've put a backup Right behind the net there, here on the left half. United puts it into play, it off the header of number eight, Alan Angoka. And here comes that son right behind us here. Nice job with the left leg shot on a bounce into the hands of Guerrero, the keeper. Leads it over to the far side is teammate number 11, Earl Ree. And Earl is going to be clipped right there. And that penalty against Arsenal. Ready. Start talking to Hugo about this. And we're midway through this first half. Just about 15 minutes to go. 1-0 lead for Arsenal. Re number 11. Trying to change direction and keep the ball there. He's going to lose it. Odie comes over to help out, but now it's Arsenal streaking here to the left half of the field, and that's going to be a player for Arsenal hitting the deck there. No call by the referee. And now it's finally out there far side and will belong to the Red Squad. So Arsenal keeps the ball there far side. They were definitely looking for that penalty as number 10 went down hard, Freddy Alcaraz. Now it's Arsenal spreading the field. And number 14 goes to the net there. Alcacira. And the keeper, Guerrero, is able to handle it. So 
So a little different weekend here, the second weekend of Surf Cup. The 16s to the 19s last weekend. We had the pleasure of calling several games, but it's a little different when you're doing 15s and 11s and 10s as opposed to these 16s, 18s, 19s. In fact, our next match here today will be a U19, same club, the Guam United squad. And I believe they're playing a team here from San Diego, Poway, the Poway Vaqueros. Number 20 here for Guam, near side, Eduardo Calvo. There's his cross into the middle of the field. He tried to go to Re. And that ball is going to go out across the back line. Alan Anagoka, number eight. Chappelle with a nice strong kick. We haven't seen him. I think that's actually his first touch, first kick of the match here. As Arsenal has really kept that pressure on the backfield of Guam here. They scored early. And it's still 1-0. Miles trying to get past three defenders there. He's gotten past two. And finally, his kick is deflected there as he tries to go to the net number four. Dylan Guma Taufau, number four for Guam with the deflection there. It goes out back line and it's a corner here for Arsenal and they just get their offense going and again deflected out. This time off number five, Micah Paulino. So again, Arsenal off the corner, start their offense. They want to set up the header just to the far side of the net there. It goes out far across the back line, and this time, the corner kick will come from the far side, number 10, Freddy Alcaraz. <laughs> Freddy with the left leg goes in to the crowd, and again, number five there, Micah Paulino. Off his leg, and so, this will be the fourth corner kick here. Two from each side now. Back to back to back to back. Ball keeps going out off Guam United. And only one time of the four did Arsenal go directly in front of the net there. Nice job by Guam's defense, clearing it over to the far side. Now they want to run. Like a Paulino, number six, over there, far side. Go on with the ball across midfield. They're going to lose it. And as Arsenal. Tries to bring it across, whistle by the referee, the penalty against <laughs> Arsenal. So Guam with the break here. <laughs> Micah starts it off there, number five. Guam now doing a pretty good job with their passing game as they're chasing one goal right here. And number 10, Diambra Odi is tripped up there, far side. The ball goes out. Still 
White ball. Real re number 11. And he's trying to dribble his way out of some trouble there in the corner. Again, Re trying to get it back. Not too much stoppage of play here in this match so far in the first half. It's been fast, and they've kept the ball moving for the most part. And I was just about to say, I'm not sure we've even had substitutions here. And Arsenal now will send in two players. So a pair of fresh legs. Number 12, Luis Cienfuegos. And number six, Luis Nolasco into the match now for Arsenal. Miles. United with the ball far side. Maybe they had two goals here after two, two goals after they scored or gave up that goal. One would be obviously not to allow another one here in the first half. And secondly, obviously try to get the tying score before halftime. But I think that if they go into halftime with the score the way it is, 1-0, they'll be fairly happy. I mean, they gave up that first goal two minutes in to the match. Danilo Rapalas here, number two for Guam, puts the ball into play. Out off Arsenal. And Danilo again with the throw in. Ball moves into the circle. Number four, Dylan Gumatofau there, number four. Nice little backwards flick right there, number six. Luis Nolasco, that's gonna get away from the keeper. Open net, but his defense comes over and does a very good job. That was number five, Micah Paulino. Hapo was heading to the back line, the keeper. Leon Guerrero makes the stop and then rolls it out far side. Just about five minutes remaining here in the first half. <laughs> and that penalty number nine running right down the back. That was Jude Bischoff. And Freddie Alcaraz hits the ground. And so you get the whistle on that one. And where Freddie just barely goes down, that header is going to hit the bar. Very close right there, and so dodging a bullet. Guam United. But earlier, no whistle when Freddie really went down on the far side. And two more substitutions for Arsenal, number two. Jordan Clues and number 16. William Alviso into the match now. Bischoff goes up against Alcaraz right there. Both players hit the deck. The ball squirts away. And it's Arsenal controlling it now. And let's see that penalty against Arsenal. Free kick here. Guam United near side. Hey, get that. 
Ball again to the left half of the field, into the backfield of Guam United. Nice takeaway there. Danilo Rapalas, number two. And Danilo, Danilo now quietly is trying to play a very good game here for Guam United. Bischoff chasing it here near side. Alcarez with a nice change of direction now. Puts the ball into the middle of the field. And United's defense clears it up towards midfield. Jacques D'Ambra, Odi number 10. Sends it across. Arsenal though with a nice passing game here. Behind midfield, bring it up. So Arsenal will put the ball into play here near side. Chance to strike here with just a few minutes remaining here in the half. And they already have the 1 0 lead. And United easily will clear this one here to the near side and goes out. The referee from the middle there makes that call. And so the kick here near side for Guam United. Paulino's pass, not enough on it right there. Easily taken by Alcaraz number 10. Puts it into the middle. Number nine just flying across right now for Arsenal. Alcaraz here near side. There's a shot to the net, and that ball's going to find the back of the net. It's, it hits the side over on the far post, comes in. And with just about two minutes remaining here in the half, Arsenal has taken a 2 0 lead over Guam United. And a nice job right there of Arsenal moving the ball around. Ready, Alcaraz with the score. And now Miles Bias, number seven, back into the match with number five, Connor Alvarez. Danilo here tries to get it to Bischoff, number nine, deflected away by number 16, William Alviso. Eduardo Calvo there, number 24, Guam United. Guam just can't get out of that middle third of the field offensively. Just about one minute remaining here, first half. And again, United here. Free kick, near side. And as that kick is in the air, there's a whistle on the end of the first half. And so it's Arsenal out of Altaloma, California with a 2-0 lead over Guam United as we go into halftime. Ken Gonzalez for George Langevin Productions. We'll be back with the second half in just a few minutes. Hey, King Gonzalez here for George Langevin Productions. We're back for the start of the second half, the final 30 minutes of this boys under 16 match. And one quick note here for Guam United. Marcus Lopez is that phantom number six out there, not number seven. So Marcus Lopez, number six. There is no number seven playing here today for Guam United. So Guam 
trailing 2-0 as we start this second half. Miles Bias again, number seven, just breaking through that defense. It takes four white jerseys to stop him there. And the ball is out far side. And if Miles is out there in the middle and he's got four white jerseys on, and that leaves a couple of guys open, but obviously very hard <laughs> to get it to them when you've got four United players hanging on you. So let's see if Arsenal changes up what they do up front. And kind of try and use Miles as a decoy perhaps to pull some of the defenders his way and leave one of the sides open. All in the middle of the field. Number five. Connor Alvarez, ball rolls over to the far side near the corner, still in play. And nope, they're gonna say it went out. Actually, we had a flag go up here, so. Can't tell from this angle, I think it might have been out across the back line and number six there. Marcus Lopez will come out quickly here in the second half. And he's replaced by number eight, Allen and Goko. Miles again, far side. Now he makes an angle inside. Tried to pass it over to his teammate number six, Luis Nolasco, but the defense clears it away and now it's Guam United trying to bring it across midfield, but again, Having some difficulty in that middle third. Are they going up against a tough team? And that's pretty tough for this Guam United squad here. Coming to their first surf cup. And they get to play a team from Southern California, which is extremely difficult. These Southern California teams, they get to play year round. You've got teams that come in, you know, even teams from Denver, Colorado. Utah, where they can't play year round, they have trouble against these Southern California teams. And more often than not, when we do the finals, we usually are two rivals here from the area playing each other. Flag goes up here near side, but there was a whistle before that. And Luis Nolasco hit the ground, he was tripped up from behind. And Freddy Alcaraz, number 10, will set the ball down. Free kick in a nice area. Let's see if he goes right to the net or brings it up top here for Arsenal's offense. With the left leg, it's gonna bend towards the net, untouched and find its way into the back of the net. Freddy Alcaraz with his second put in right there. And Arsenal now with a three nil lead over Guam United here. Second half of this match. Midfield, United. And now, you know, Guam United has got to, they've got to start thinking about just points here and getting a score so they can gain a point into their bracket. Nearly a handball right there. Probably was, no call. Nice hustle here, Jordan Clues, number two, nearly saved that ball from going out, and he was hounded from behind by number 11, Earl Ree here for United. Number nine coming off for Guam United, Jude Bischoff. Oh, 
Number three with the throw in, Darren Apiag, but he goes off number 11, Earl Ree, and number 19 now into the match for Arsenal. Christian Alvarez. United now streaking to the far side, trying to get to that ball, provide some defense. Number 17, Jesse Mesa, who is just into the game for Bischoff. And the ball is out far side, last touch by United. So Arsenal with the free kick far side. And I think it was Jesse Mesa, number 17. Guilty there of the infraction. Left leg kick, nice job right there in the middle on the header for Guam United clearing it away. Jacques across midfield, he's got some speed. Odie gets around three, four defenders, but number 15 finally gets there for Arsenal. Michael Mercado. Oral Ree. And that penalty against Arsenal. So a break right now for Guam United. Oral Ree, number 11. Header's gonna come out here towards midfield. Number 13, Anthony Manebusan. Trevor Santos with a touch there. Trevor with the yellow shoes. Easy to spot there, number 14. Trying to sneak up on number 19, Christian Alvarez. Coming up on the 40 minute mark here of this match. So 20, 21 minutes remaining. Miles using that far sideline there to gain some ground. And just as he tries to make his move into the middle of the field, he's gonna be tripped up. And a bad break right there for Arsenal off number 16, William Alviso. There's number 13 again, Anthony Mani Bouchon. And it was Anthony who had that nice header over here in front of the box a few moments ago off that free kick by Arsenal. It was right after the penalty on Jesse Mesa, far side, number 17. And then right off that free kick, they went right into the middle. Mani Bouchon with the header. So that ball out off Arsenal. Goal kick here for Guam United. Leon Guerrero with the kick. Number 12 there for Guam United, Vinancio Siocco. Arsenal move it here to the near side. Can they get to it before it goes out? Jordan here, number two, near side. Saves it now in front of the net. Just a little bit long. That shot is gonna be wide with the left leg. Number 10, Freddy Alcaraz looking for his third score. So Robert sets it down for the goal kick. And he's gonna go right down the middle. So many good teams coming here to Surf Cup. I mean, even you look at a, at a game like this, Arsenal and Guam United, it's 3-0, but 
you know, that doesn't really say much about the United squad. They have a lot of skill, very evident out there. It's just a fine line between giving up a goal or two or scoring one yourself when you're here at Surf Cup. And it doesn't take much to have one team just control an entire match. Coming out is Leon Guerrero. There's a collision there. Two players are still on the ground. You got a player for Arsenal down and the keeper down as well, finally out far side. And we're gonna have to take a quick break here after they tend to these injured players. Kane Gonzalez for Georgia Lands of Productions. We're back here. And it looks like the injured players are gonna stay in. There's the keeper there, Robert Leon Guerrero. Number 12 for Guam there, Vinancio Sioko. I liked saying that name. Jordan, number two into the middle. To number 19, Christian Alvarez. And now Arsenal. Try to slow things down here, spread the field. The ball out near side, Arsenal ball. Jordan puts the ball into play here near side. Arsenal here having a little difficulty with the Guam United defense. Number 12 puts it into play. Luis Cienfuegos. Red team. Kind of bogged down here near side. Now they want to spread it, put the ball into the middle. Michael Mercado. Ball to the corner and rolls out across the back line and that's a goal kick for Guam United. And it looks like Guam United will be changing goalies now. So coming out, number 18, Robert Leon Guerrero and coming in, Mark Cruz. So number one, Mark Cruz in it, keeper now for Guam United. There's Eduardo Calvo in, Rico Romero, number 19 into the match. Thomas Medler, number 15, so a lot of fresh legs in now for Guam United. Number 10, Jacques Diambraodi towards the corner, holds up, dribbles it out again. Now upfield, there's Miles Bias, number seven. They run out of room far side, it's out. And Arsenal will put the ball into play. Just about 12 minutes remaining here in the match. Ball across midfield. Shock again, number 10. But Guam, they need one more guy up front with some speed, but that's probably going to be difficult to match the speed of number 10 there. He's very fast. Nice takeaway right here near side. That's Calvo, Eduardo Calvo, number 20. Coming back to the ball, Allen and Goko, number 8. Ball here to the near side, save from going out. Number six, Luis Nolasco. And finally deflected out off Guam United. And let's see if we have a corner kick coming up. So 
So corner kick here for Arsenal. And again, they don't attack. They just start the offense. That's a deflection there by Cruz. He goes up high into the air. That ball was bending right to the net. So smart heads up play by Cruz right there. Keeper for Guam United. And this time Arsenal will have the corner from the far side. And Freddie Alcaraz will take the kick with the left leg. Clear it out. Miles tries to go back into the middle again, deflected by United. Again with the header there, number 13, Anthony Manibusan. That's twice now we've seen him do that. Miles Bias moving to the back line. There's his cross on the ground, whistle by the referee. The flag went up. And that's against Arsenal. And Arsenal would like substitutions here before we get going. Number eight into the match, Ulysses Mosqueda. Number 18, Daniel Rosales. And number 14, Hugo Alcacira. Jocks with the header. Ball in the middle of the field now. Arsenal trying to bring it over to the far side and spread things out. Just about 10 minutes remaining here in the match. Just under 10, so we've got nine minutes. And we'll see if the referee in the middle adds any time to the end of this match. They don't often do that here at Surf Cup. They've got so many games scheduled. If you start adding up an extra two or three minutes here and there, by the time the last couple of matches roll around, they're gonna start 20, 25 minutes late. So I think they give you a 30 each half and that'll do it. Ball out far side. United ball number 17, Jesse Mesa. So Mesa puts the ball into play. Number five, Micah Paulino. Goes right back to him far side. Rico Romero, number 19, tried to make his move to the left half of the field. Ball taken away by Arsenal. Nice job right there by number 13, Anthony Manabusan, getting back and deflecting that ball. Otherwise, Arsenal would have had a nice shot on goal. They lead 3-0 right now, late here in the second half. So we've played 52 minutes of this 60 minute match. Guam across midfield. Jacques again, number 10. Jacques Diamrodi tries to get around defender, takes a shot to the net and a save by the keeper, Samuel Chappelle. So after Chappelle makes the save, Arsenal across midfield, takeaway from behind, number 19, Rico Romero. He stops Arsenal's momentum. Shot to the net is gonna be wide. You got time, have a time. Yeah, from our angle here. Yeah. 
So Mark Cruz will set up the kick. Cruz angles it here to the near side. Number 11, Earl Ree. Ree finds Jacques here on the near side. And the ball deflected out by Arsenal. Five minutes remaining. Three nil lead, Arsenal over Guam United. And the ball out here on the near side. And it's the off Guam United. And so the goal kick here for Arsenal. <laughs> Chappelle down the middle, Guam United. Keeping it here in the left half of the field. Arsenal trying to pass their way out of this half. Across midfield. And a collision there far side, it goes out. And still Arsenal ball. And actually before it goes out, they had that penalty. There was that collision there with Earl Reed, or actually number 17, Jesse Mesa. And so the kick here for Arsenal. Nice kick here to the near side. Chased down by number 13, but it goes out. Lee Nishanian nearly saved that one from going out, but half a step too late. Ball in the air, collision as it comes down, and that's definitely gonna go against Arsenal there. As number 15 hit the ground hard, Thomas Medler. Guerrero, or that's Cruz. Mark Cruz with the kick across midfield. So this match will be coming to an end here in just a few minutes. And it looks like it's gonna be Arsenal with the first game here of Surf Cup for these two squads taking the victory here. But two more playing games for Guam United. And an opportunity to come back and put some points on the board with a victory in their next game. Guam may get the vote here for the prize for coming the furthest distance. Last weekend we had several teams from Japan. And I'm not sure if they've got any of the older clubs here this weekend. And depending on the age group, the Japanese squads did pretty well. I think it was their 12 or 13 age groups got out of bracket.
Substitutions, far side. And coming out for Guam United, number five, Micah Paulino. Paulino replaced by Marcus Lopez, number six. Lopez wants the ball back, you can hear him. United, number two, Danilo Rapales. And flag goes up right here. Offside on Arsenal. Rico Romero with the kick. Kick down the middle. And my watch is off now. We've got 60 minutes of play, so we'll watch for the referee in the middle of the field now. Guam United will have it. Let's see there. What's the referee going to straighten out? And that's going to go against United. Arsenal ball. Number 12 there. Financio Sioko, far side. And some extracurricular activity in front of the net there. Referee yelling about the elbows there. So these two teams coming a little aggressive here at the end of the match. Arsenal starts it off the head to the corner. And the ball out goal kick here for Guam United. Angle to the far side, number 17, Jesse Mesa there. Ball rolls here near side, number 19, Rico Romero. Nice shot up midfield. And as Jacques tries to run it down, there's the whistle in the end of this boys under 16 match. And it's the Arsenal out of Alta Loma with a 3-0 victory over Guam United. You're in the first game for each of these squads, 2007 Surf Cup. I'm Ken Gonzalez, George Landsman Productions. We hope you enjoyed this match. It was my pleasure to bring it to you. Until we see you again, be safe and have a great day, everyone. Oh, you see? <laughs> yeah, a little tough.